This is a hybrid rocket engine. It is a PMMA and gaseous oxygen hybrid. The fuel grain, the PMMA is 8 inches in length. It's got a 3 8 diameter fuel port and it has 2 inches in outer diameter. The fuel grain is cradled by these two pieces of mild steel, inch thick mild steel. They're sandwiched together using quarter inch stainless steel ready rod. The gaseous oxygen is pumped in to the fuel grain through this um, mild steel tube. Once it enters the fuel grain, it mixes with the products of the breakdown reaction that the polymer is undergoing due to heat. That gaseous mixture is then ignited and sent out the nozzle. So this nozzle is a converging diverging nozzle. Its angle of convergence and divergence is both 45 degrees. That's not ideal. The ideal angle for the diverging part of the nozzle is between 19 and 23 degrees but because of restrictive machining costs I decided to um, just go with 45 degrees converging and diverging. So I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to test it and we'll see how it performs. So this is the test setup. I've got the oxygen tank hooked up to the rocket engine through a fuel line uh, just the type of fuel line you'd buy from Lord Co. or any auto parts store. Um, I've got a concerned parent standing here with a fire extinguisher, but I don't think anything's going to be going wrong. So I'm going to be trying to work up to um, a flow rate of oxygen of 12 liters per minute. So I'll do a couple tests at 6 liters per minute, 8 liters per minute, 10 liters per minute and see if I can work all the way up to 12. Okay, so I'm going to start this hybrid rocket engine with a flow rate of 12 liters per minute of gaseous oxygen. This is 12 liters per minute flow rate of oxygen. 